welcome back to my channel. I'm King Batty. This is my channel. It's been a lockdown. Shut it down. We are under quarantine, honey. It's been a minute since I stepped back in the studio. And a lot of ha has happened since I last filmed. I've been really busy with work and a lot of changes going on. But I'm gonna catch you guys all up. And today, since I stopped watching the news because it's a lot of negative negativity going on, um, we're gonna do a, a carnival look, even though there's no carnivals going on. I wanna do a festive look, but make it quarantine. So, if you guys wanna keep on watching and see what I've been up to, keep on watching. You see, this is why I be taking so long with my mother makeup because I just be eating shit on the phone. Por eso que me da tanta pereza porque me demoro like cinco horas y nunca termino. Okay, guys, so I wanted to show you the inspo of kind of like the style that I'm gonna do, but not with the same colors. This is what I um found, and it's just a random because I be saving posts when I like something, when I see something I like. This is an MUA on Instagram. Her at is Slay Faces, so that's kind of the, so that's kind of the, so that's kind of the style that I'm gonna do, but with different colors, so, and then we're gonna bejewel it up. Let's begin with my eyeshadow. I'm gonna bring you guys in closer. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna go in with my James Charles palette since it's so colorful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use an orange shade. Where is it? This one, right here. And then I'm going to deepen it up and get darker and darker. And then we're going to cut the crease. So that's what I'm going to do for my crease. This is like get ready with me. And I have a lot to say. I kind of was just starting to feel like I wanted a change in my workplace. I wanted to look for something else. Just something that was going to challenge me. Something that's going to make me learn more. Something that's going to pay more that's gonna be monday through friday i want to film on the weekends i want to do my stuff i want to you know just have a set schedule and working in the mall you never have a set schedule if you guys didn't know i work at the mall i used to work at the mall because now i don't <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with working at the mall but i've been doing that for seven years and i'm graduating this year from university so i wanted to just take a leap of faith and try something new and I just was not feeling it at work anymore. And I just came up, I woke up one day and I decided that it's time for a fresh start. Now this is before all of this crazy shit started happening. Okay guys, now I'm gonna take a yellow and I'm just gonna blend out the edges of that orange with the yellow. Um, kind of like a sunset vibe. Uh, what I was saying was, so I decided to wake up one day and I was like, I want something new. And I, that, that was weird because I never am that person. Like, I like stability. I like, I don't like, change scares me. But I know that's always, I always come out on top when something, like, when there's change, I always grow. Grow. I just felt like it was time, and I'm gonna do a story time on why I quit, how I quit, and the whole like story about it because it's just something that I feel like someone else might relate to. Thursday, what was it like? The 12th, March 12th, right? I remember because my interview for the new place that I'm working. I usually always apply to jobs on Indeed.com. That's where I always have applied. And it, well, unless it's like a referral, someone that I know that got me the job. And I saw a job that I was like, wow, this makes sense and relates to my daily life. It's not like something that, like your job has nothing to do with what you wanna do. You get what I'm saying? But this current job does, and the people that work there are young, creatives and that's what i need to be around so i went to interview the interview went great we clicked i clicked with the the girl that she was great they got that offer that afternoon and i made i had thought about like what ifs like if i got the offer if i don't that i was gonna leave i was gonna leave i called my boss and i told her listen are you busy whatever so i met up with her and i told her i gave her my two weeks notice this was march 12th bitch by Monday, 
the virus was already in um had gotten to the states like it was already in washington when it first hit so then things spiraled out of control because here i am i already gave my two weeks on the 12th or the 13th i don't remember on friday or saturday and then all of this craziness started happening so you want to make sure none of your lines are harsh or anything and everything blends out smoothly all the colors so I got this job and it's well known here in Miami but they are an Instagram brand and um, you've probably seen them on Instagram I don't really want to say the name because now that I work for them I didn't sign anything but I just for my own privacy I know when to say it and when to not say it so it's an Instagram brand, that's where, where I work now. Which relates to what I wanna do. That's what I'm doing. States, the virus started spreading in the States. I don't even know if we're allowed to say coronavirus on YouTube if we get demonetized or what the hell happened. The coronavirus started spreading throughout the States from Washington to New York. New York said, lleno del virus. San Diego, California, Miami, then all the big cities are mostly, cause that's where, and we get a lot of tourists. And while I was working at the mall, uh, here it is tea. Okay guys, I know it looks a little bit crazy, but since it's a cut crease, half of that is, more than half of it is gonna be gone. That's why it looks crazy, cause you really need to keep it up high because you're, when you're cutting it, you want the depth to still be there. So I'm just gonna do the same thing on this side and we're just gonna go in with a brown shade to deepen up that crease. It feels like we're living in a movie. Like it doesn't feel real, everything that's going on. And I don't, think that a lot of people are so a lot of people still don't have answers a lot of people are confused this has never ever happened nobody has ever lived through this ever at least not that they're alive you're gonna blend out those edges with a, like an orange burnt shade march 12th was the last day i saw my grandma so it's been like three weeks that i haven't seen my grandmother because this whole virus and everything going on Working at the mall, the mall I work at, because there's different malls in Miami, the mall I work at, I worked at, past tense, um, I've, I've been working there since I was 18, I'm 24 now, and that mall's always been known to bring in a lot of tourists, when tourists come to Miami, they go to that mall, don't ask me why, they just, they, because it's an outlet mall and a lot of discounts and all this shit. That mall attracts a lot of tourists and the tourists when they come have been telling us that they have not been tested at the airport. So when they come to the States, we're from Europe, South America, wherever. This is like beginning of March, mid-March, beginning mid-March. They're coming, flying in, flying out and nobody's being tested at the airport. So what's going on? Hearing about the virus and that it could be potentially fatal for older people. I did not, if, when I'm dealing with tourists all day, every day, it could be on my clothes, I could get it, like I don't wanna give it to her, she has health issues, like it's just crazy. So I stopped visiting her and she need to be, that bitch, I told her to be in isolation, she goes out to vote. I'm like, girl, really? So we have blended it out. Now to clean it up, we're gonna use P. Louise base. Donde esta? Que yo lo tengo por aquí. This one, bitch. By the way, I had a nightmare that someone like stole my car in my nightmare. I literally, I don't know where I got a knife from, but I got so pissed. I'm gonna use the baby blue as a wing, and then I'm gonna use the white to cut crease. Yo creo que sí. All right. So, I'm not gonna talk what I cut my crease because like, I can't, I know I'm, that, I'm not that talented. So, como que lo voy a hacer en silento and then I'm gonna fast forward. Okay, so, I put the base. I put the base because I don't want the color to transfer through the white. So, now I'm gonna put the white one. My guy, tell me why. Okay, tell me why. I feel like such a dumb bitch. I literally, it was not working, it was not working, it was not working, technical difficulties, I had to search it up. Because this is the first time that I use these bases, so I don't really know how, how, how it is. Using to contour with, the possibilities really are endless, and we are artists. This so video, does back is our imagination. So on P. Louise Makeup Academy, this video really explains how they work. And I was putting on the white base on top of the concealer base, the whatever 
based and no they only work on your actual skin so you have to remove whatever is on your lid and put the paint where you want it because if not it's gonna make a muddy ass mess so now I have to take all of this off and put the white directly on it the paints work best when directly presented over the top of the skin. The reason for this is they are designed to set within 60 seconds mat. If they sit over the top of the base, the base is designed to intensify shadows and colour payoff. Now you can imagine, if you're putting a product that is supposed to set itself matte over a product that remains wet, right. it's never going to set. So you're not going to see the real benefits of the paint. This is one of the new shades we've got coming out. Got it, girl. That's why mm -hmm. I love learning new shit. You see, don't be scared to learn new shit and step out of your comfort zone. Okay, buddies, and we are done. This is my carnival look. No, I'm kidding. All right, you guys, so I'm going to do an ombre on my lid, and I'm going to start on the inner corner with uh, this yellow, the same yellow I did on my brow bone. I have to concentrate. Base already on my lid so that the pigment sticks. And yes, I know it's a crazy move to switch jobs in the middle of a pandemic, but I didn't know that this was gonna get crazy like that because it literally, a couple of days, I made that decision on Thursday and on Monday, it just, America was going crazy. So, entonces, la cosa es that we know that this started in Wuhan, China. That's what we know. And it was because a doctor had exposed the virus. Okay, you guys. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna take the baby blue and I'm connecting my liner with the white. I think I'm gonna create um, a dark blue ombre, right? Oh, this these are sealed. The blue is too light. If I go on the white, it's not gonna really contrast that much. Bitch, I am shook it to the core. Did we do that? I think we did that. And we're, that's just one eye. We haven't even done everything else. Came out super choochies. Thanks to the help of P. Louise. I'll just do the same thing on the other eye to match. And then we're gonna do my favorite part is complexion. The doctor contracted the virus supposedly and later on died. Allegedly by the virus, but he was 30 something Impossible that he died from the virus. I think Someone was drinking a soup eating a soup a bat soup because you know Chinese people In their culture they eat um, different types of animals and supposedly came out of a bat soup And that's how the virus started I think that all of this is very sketchy okay i'm not one to believe in um conspiracies and all of these suspicious i think some what well, i always like believe what it is like it is what it is what can we do but this 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 situation feels very like on purpose i'm so sorry because and I'm not saying it's anyone's fault. I'm saying that how can people be flying in and out of everywhere with all of this virus going on and it's contagious and nobody's taking tests in the airports, nobody's preparing, nobody's doing nothing and the adults, the politicians don't even, like you, you see them talk and it's like they don't even know what they're talking about. It's like they don't even have the answers, like they're talking, but they don't really know what they're saying because they don't even know what's happening. How from December, we're going to be in April, how can you, the, they stopped flying Europeans, they banned the Europeans from coming to America like in March. So I don't really see how you're going to let all this spread and then wait until the last minute to ban travel and then like it's just a mess, it's a mess. A lot of people don't feel any symptoms like they're asymptomatic and then while other people are like literally can't breathe and it's like and then there's confusion in the media oh if you if you think you have if you have symptoms don't go to the doctor because you can infect other people but then 
celebrities and famous people are getting tested so it's like which what what is it like it's just i don't get i don't get it i don't get it and then a vaccine takes two years a year and a half to make are you kidding me is it 2020 or what at the end of all of this i really am surprised and grateful and blessed that like we are we do live in america and surprised that the government's actually going to be supposedly helping um people and sending out uh stimulus packages and giving out checks to family members that may not um you know because no one's working right now i can't believe no literally we're shut down i don't know coming from immigrant parents coming from immigrant families you never expect the government to help you like you always help yourself like you 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 come up with it two trillion dollars is with the last that i heard that they came up with a stimulus package to know people i have friends who live in third world countries and it's a lot far worse where they are and the governments also governments in other countries are corrupt you guys i literally need to do my makeup with a fan because these lights are so hot that i start to sweat okay guys it literally took me 3,567 years to finish my eyes but I'm gonna do my face off camera I love this liner I never like my liners to be so so dark and I don't like them to be the same shade as the lipstick that I wear and it's just right this one's called love bite and it's a morphe lip liner all of this will be over soon like everything's gonna be fine everything's gonna fall into place like People have it way worse and there's people that still don't know where their next meal is going to be. And we are lucky enough that we have the supermarkets to go to. It has to get worse before it gets better. And I think, I don't know how much worse it could get. I saw New York has soldiers on the streets. California is going to have soldiers on the streets. Um, if they don't already. We can clean our rooms. We can clean our houses. We can cook. Have some wine. Read a book, light a candle, sweetie. Positive vibes, it's all about positive vibes. Do your laundry, take some cute pictures at home. Cause I've been seeing bitches do their wigs, their makeup, and they're in the family, like I don't get it. Where are you bitches going? Cause I just be looking homeless when I'm home. So I just wanna know where bitches are going. Where's the party? Quarantine party. Miss me. I really miss talking to you guys it's just been really hectic and I, I I would I almost lost my shit when I was in the middle of of moving from my old job to the new job and all of this craziness with the pandemic going on the virus <coughs> <coughs> I was like running around trying to get my taxes together to do my taxes. Thank God they extended that shit for July 15th. If you're in America, they extended our tax returns, honey. So, um, and I just needed to renew my license for my license that I have that I have to renew um, and get that together. So I've just been organizing, enjoying my house. I don't really go out that much often, that often. I don't really go out that often. But I do already miss my grandma, I miss my friends, my girlfriends, I miss hugging people. Hopefully this will all be over soon and we can all get back to our regular lives. Even though my job still has me working, well, Monday through Friday, because um, we don't deal with the public. But I hope we can all just get back to where we were and our plans and our 2020 vision. Okay, let's just keep a beat, let's keep it positive. But I want to try this lemon head Los Angeles. It's like this glitter, glitter, but it's not loose. It's like a glitter gel type of thing. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! So I got this lime green, and I'm just gonna uh, blend out those edges. Very like sea creature, merman, like trident. Like where's my daddy? And this muted lip really like calms things down. I have it in gold too. Let's try it. Ya que estamos aquí. Like a dot. Okay. 
got these. I want to put these little stones, these little rhinestones that I got from Forever 21 a long time ago. And I'm going to just put them in the center and uh, right here on my cheeks. So I started filming at 1 in the morning and it's 8 in the morning. 1 in the morning to 8 in the morning. I can't. This is why I don't be doing creative looks on YouTube because it just takes too long to film. I gotta just do it like like off camera and do a picture on Instagram. All right, you guys, so this is the final look, finally. I feel like I've been doing this for three days now. I just really wanted to do a festive look, even though there's no festival going on right now because obviously of the situation, but I just wanted to do something creative and fun and colorful because it's, lately it's been really dark in the news and I, just, I know people are feeling down. This I don't really do creative looks like these because it just takes so much time and I don't have patience. I like more like glam, simple, going to a party, everyday glam type of stuff. So let me know what you think. If you like it, what do you think? I just looked at a picture and just came up with this. So don't judge. And I use new products that I hadn't used before. Um, I use those P. Louise bases and those Lemonhead glitters really have a huge payoff. I think that's for like body glitter, but I use it for my eyes because they're really pretty. They're really pretty. So comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think of everything that's going on? Give this video a thumbs up if you like this look and subscribe to my channel so you know each time I upload to my channel. Yo, not for nothing, but this, this, we did we did that we did that because i was really not expecting it to come out so good like you know it was, you should, I, i'm not used to like doing so much but <laughs> but um i'm really happy with how it came out i hope you guys like it um oh did you peep the new set did you peep it did you peep them did you peep the new set yes honey <laughs> Wherever you are watching around the world, I hope you're safe. I hope you stay clean. Everything's gonna get back to normal. Everything's gonna fall into place. Everything I do believe happens for a reason. I know that we're gonna come out stronger than this and I'm gonna keep all of you guys in my prayers. Sometimes you just have to look at things on a positive or lighter no on the brighter side we are living through a historical time and we are gonna make it we're gonna push through we're gonna pull through hope you guys um were able to get your mind off of things watching my video um i really appreciate you guys and thank you to all the nurses on the front lines all the doctors all the medical responders everyone that is facing this illness head on help your neighbor help a friend Help the person in the supermarket that can't, you know, buy everything. These are times when we lean on each other and it's just really important to be kind to one another and life is never guaranteed. So with that being said, I really suggest, I'm gonna leave some links down below of videos that I've been checking out on YouTube of people that have been documenting this whole pandemic and asking the right questions and really getting into the nitty gritty of everything. I didn't really want to get into it too much because I didn't really write down notes. It's just the top of my head of what came out. And it's very like people feel some type of way and all these things and you're not a medical professor. Da -da 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 -da. Stay inside, stay isolated, stay quarantined, stay healthy. There's a lot of things you can do at home. Clean your house, wash your Make some food, do some laundry. Do your makeup. I don't know, bitch. Plan out what you're gonna do after when you get out of this quarantine. Plan out, get out of bad credit, start a business, get a new job, cut some people off, find new friends, whatever it is. Drop that boyfriend, which you had to do a long time ago. Whatever it is, take this time to be still and really think about your life and go back to the drawing board and just come up with an organized list of things that you want to complete and make your life easier. You're the one in control of your life. You write your own book. So there's, I do believe that there's 
reason why things happen. Things don't just happen to happen. I don't believe that. You guys can follow me on all my social platforms that I am King Body and that's on everything. And I love you guys and I'll see you on my next video. Oh, and remember bodies, we stay bad so they stay mad. <laughs> La mano arriba, cintura sola. Yo, this lip. Oh, my lashes coming off. Beautiful, perfect timing.